smells good. Mmm, sounds good. Ah, feels good, especially on a chilly winter's night. Yet every year these three things bring pain and injury to hundreds of New Zealand children. In 12 months, more than 1,300 New Zealand children under five years of age were severely injured by burns and scalds. 650 children were taken to hospital. Despite the skill and devotion of doctors and nurses and the best methods of treatment, they will always be scarred in mind and body. accidents, some crippling, some fatal, could have been prevented. Mothers of young children are always busy, and Prudence Wright, with the twins and their baby sister all under five, certainly has her hands full. But they're never too full to do the simple things that could mean the difference between a smile and a scar on the faces of her children. The electric jug, for instance, is firmly held in a safety holder and it has a short lead well out of reach of adventurous young fingers. A guard has been fitted to the top of the stove. Most good hardware stores sell these guards now and as an additional safeguard, saucepan handles are always turned inwards. All heaters and fires are properly guarded. Wall brackets secure the guard in front of the open fire in the living room. Many children would be saved much pain and suffering if all parents would follow the example of prudence at home. And they lived happily ever after. The North Island winter is only cold enough to be annoying, but the South Island has the real freeze and the fun that goes with it. These weekends, cars and buses take hardy Christchurch and Canterbury folk up the Rakaia Gorge to Lake Ida. It's an ice skater's paradise where the shadow of a mountain keeps the winter sun from the deep hard ice. 2,000 skaters a day, every winter weekend. Over the last 10 years, Cooperative Enterprise has made Lake Ida more and more popular. And today there's even a motor-drawn toboggan for the children. Lunchtime worries for mother either. The hot water's free and the caterer has hot pies in hundreds. Today the Canterbury Underwater Club is demonstrating the techniques of ice rescue. Lake Ida's ice is tested and marked with safety ropes, but everyone's anxious to learn just in case. A six by three hole has been sawn through the foot thick ice. The secret is spreading your weight as much as possible, particularly if you're caught on your own. Now, club members strap breathing apparatus over their insulated suits to go down under the ice for the first time in New Zealand. They're down there for 15 minutes, swimming in pitch darkness with only a lifeline to guide them. How chilly can you get? Of course, not everyone relishes ice diving. Observe here the gentle art of curling. 
and what can be the fastest game afloat. Richmond Panthers versus the International Dragons. In fact, in many ways, South Islanders are convinced that winter can be fun. Seven weeks ago, these youngsters were sick. None were seriously ill, just run down. Today, you can't tell them from the kids next door. The children, 30 of them, are finishing a term at Gisborne's Health Camp. Over the last couple of months, they've had plenty of sunshine and plenty of care and attention. The treatment has paid off. They certainly appear to be the healthiest bunch of youngsters on the East Coast. Spending a few weeks in camp doesn't mean schoolwork is neglected. Children who are not well can't do good work. A stay in the health camp often puts them up at the top of the class. When we buy health stamps, we help these children and the 2,000 others who attend camps every year. Some health camps open only in the summer months. Others, like Gisborne, operate the whole year round. Nearly 200 children from all over the East Coast and Hawke's Bay are helped back to good health in Gisborne every 12 months. Children have lined up and had their milk at the camp for the last time. Tomorrow, their stay over, they'll go home. At the end of term party, they're a bright, noisy crowd of confident youngsters. For a while, the children will miss the friends they've made today, but bursting with energy, they'll make new ones tomorrow. <laughs>